Hey guys, Alicia here, and I've just unlocked the legendary Morty of Pocket Morty's fame. It only took me about three hours or so, but I'm going to break it down into a much shorter video for you. First up, you need to have earned eight badges from different ricks across a multitude of portals. Once you have these badges, a blue-skinned chap will appear like a pallid smurf and demand that you hook him up with a purified fleeb. To make one of these, you just need to head over to a crafting station and stick a fleeb and turbulent juice under the spotlight. Hit craft and go back to the baseball bro smurf, and he'll reward you with a strange egg morty. Step two will take you the longest. At the beginning, your egg morty is just a lowly level five and you need to get it all the way up to a strapping level 20. Trouble is, it can't do any damage from enemies since its only move is Harden. If you know your Metapod from your Magic Up, you'll know exactly what Pocket Mortys is copying here. If you have any level boosting steeds, it's tempting to use them now, but you'll want to save these for later. It's much easier to manually level up your egg from 5 to 6 than it is from 19 to 20. Instead, my top tip for you is to switch your Egg Morty to the top of your Morty list. This means he'll be automatically deployed first in battle, allowing him to soak up some XP before you tag him with another more powerful Morty. Lather, rinse, repeat this process with every enemy tagging your Egg in and out of battle until it's about level 14. At this point, you want to go pick a fight with a council member. They're the most powerful guys you'll battle against, and as such, they're going to yield the go most XP. Make sure you've got a few, maybe one or two me seeks boxes in your inventory before you head into battle. These are super important because they're going to allow you to kill any Morty instantly, and when your Egg Morty uses one, all the experience is soaked up by him alone. As you can see, that's pretty powerful. I leveled up my Morty by a good three levels in this way, and now's the time to whack out those seeds. Mop up the last few levels with some stat boosting seeds, and once you hit level 20, you'll be the proud owner of a new legendary Morty. While his move list isn't that impressive at the beginning, his stats are, and his Mohawk certainly is. He's officially the most powerful Morty in the game, so hang on to him for a tricky later battles and be sure to train him up. So. There you have it. That's our quick guide to getting the legendary Morty in Pocket Mortys. Let us know whether you think he's worth grinding for in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time.